Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 24 of Direwolf20's server play series. Soren! Dire! I hear there is hype induced. Mmm. Hype. What are we hyping I... over? 100k followers on Twitch. That seems like a lot. It, it is. <laughs> that's a lot of people. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a large sum of people who seem to follow you. But quite a bit. And you know why they all follow me? Um, because you shoot me with a gun, <laughs> and I hit you with a sword. Probably. <laughs> uh, stop it, I'm hiding in my mana area. So, I filled up nine mana pools, and the Eternalist fuel blocks that I dropped on these Endo Flames are still going. Like, there oh. is no end to the Eternalist fuel that I dropped on those things. <laughs> you made a mistake there in those end, didn't you? <laughs> well, like... Like, I filled up three mana pools, and then used a bunch of mana to make, like, Terra Steel, and filled up mana tablets. Like, there is a ridiculous amount of things I've done with all the mana so far. Like, I've used a large amount of mana. I've probably at least used, like, three or four pools of mana. And, like, it's... So I think in total we've at least gotten 15 pools, and it's still going. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, like, borderline silly at this point how much there is. Um, but I did come up with a solution to the problems that I had last episode. Okay. I'm going to do this. Yeah. I need my timers back. Oh. They're... I just what need are... one, though, actually, so it's cool. Oh. Okay. Good. Um, I had five timers that kept, like, interacting and being bothersome to each other. Now I'm just going to link them all together so that they're no longer separate systems. So basically, Soren, the way this works is the comparators output a redstone signal when the mana pools get full. And the blocks on the top, which are called mana detectors, output a redstone signal when there's a mana burst traveling through them. Um, and these flowers absorb the explosion of TNT. So if TNT explodes, it'll absorb the explosion. But if they have mana in them already, it won't absorb the explosion thus destroying blocks, which is bad. So the plan here is the TNT flowers absorb the explosion, they start generating mana, it starts sending mana bursts through the mana detectors, which starts sending redstone signals to the timer, preventing it from ticking. Right? With me so far? Yep. I mean, if you're not, I'm gonna show you, cause like... Well, I'm showing Emma, as soon as that ticks, like the actual render for it, this green stutters. Yes. <gasps> see? Nothing hurts. And then there should be, a, like, one of the mana flowers. So you can see the flowers, right? And now the redstones pulse in and everybody is cool. Oh, my FES is gone. I know it is, actually, isn't it? <laughs> Goodbye, FPS. We hardly knew ye. I feel like I should do something a little bit differently. Yes! Please. Yeah? I mean... I can probably, now that I'm not doing this as five separate systems, I suppose I could do it a little bit easier. All right, I'm going to tear down all the work that I spent the last two episodes doing because Soren's whining about his frame rate. Okay, <laughs> you're probably going to, your YouTube's going to whine too. It's okay. I'm sure they will. They don't want to see Laggy Wolf, Laggy Wolf 20. Laggy Wolf 20? That's it. He's fixing it. I love the faces he gives us, like, mm. Sorry, Amadornis, I'm sorry. Oh, look, I came to the other side of the base, and it's much more smooth. I know, I should probably clear out some of this. It, it wasn't this bad when I was here the other day, but now that I just made redstones, like, trigger as much as I did, yeah, that, that, that actually turned out to be pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, I guess what I'll do is tear this all up and then come back. Now that I've come up with a different approach. I was going to have, like, each flower be its own separate, like, thing. And it was kind of cool, but not anymore. I'm going to make it all kind of do this thing. That's neat. And um, so with that in mind, I will be right back. All right, guys. So, Soren and I have been playing with Amadornis for a while. How you doing, Amadornis? I'm doing good. 
Really? After all this? <laughs> You're still doing well? I'd, like, if I were you, I'd be crying right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I kind of am. I mean, so. like, you've been dealing with Soren all night, so. so yeah, yeah, I'm already showing sure sure you what it is, too. Like, I'm proud of my vanilla redstone wiring. It's interesting. I think it's extremely efficient, thank you very much. To you do tomato. better. You do it, you do it better. I, I don't really want to. Why? Because you couldn't? Wow, no, that's not it at all. Challenge thrown. That's what's up. Um, so I've got things going on. So my elven mana spreaders now shoot through the mana detectors into the mana pools that are underground. And because the only block that's between the mana pool and the, and the um, mana spreaders is the mana detector, it doesn't need to have the, the lens on it. Um, and then there's vanilla comparators, because we found that the comparators from Blue Power were being a little bit weird um, and causing a little bit of frame rate lag. So Yeah, that's already been fixed. I know, I know. We're on an old version of Blue Power. We need to get, like, the new version on. Yeah, yep. Indeed. Yep, you know, the one with the integrate. And then I decided, well, if I'm doing vanilla redstone, I might as well do all vanilla redstone. So I've got my mana detectors running over to here, and the timer actually works pretty well. So if I were to demonstrate this, I'm going to put 10 TNT into here. You ready? Boom. So uh -huh. five of them get exploded. Ten more get placed, but notice that they're not going to explode until the mana spreaders are done doing their mana spreading thing. So see? The timer is not allowed to run until 10 seconds after the entropiniums are completely out of mana. Nice. So you see, now they are out. So the mana spreaders are out, which means that the timer's allowed to run, and then it'll tick the next set of TNT. And this will continue going until, you'll notice that there's a redstone signal of one, strength one, coming out of all the, um, the uh, comparators. So once the mana pools have gotten to a sufficient level, um, you know, maybe a little bit more than a quarter full, I guess. Um, it should wind up that we'll have this stopping the timer totally so that it won't run once the mana pools are full. And then down here, we've got mana pools. So watch, if this thing is set to spare mana to items and I drop a mana tablet in there. Cool. Hmm. It refills. How fancy is that? Nifty. Right? Ta da! Yay! I am pleased. Yeah, we were playing with wiring downstairs. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Some interesting things we found. Oh, yeah? yeah you want to yeah, check it out? Um, maybe. You really need more TNT for the, the timer in this system that you had. Oh, you figured out why the timer was being funny for me? Well, kind of. <laughs> we found out it's acting funny in general. It definitely fixed my frame rate by going vanilla redstone over that stuff. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm enormous, but it did. Yeah, no worries. I, I did you figure out why the co why the comparators were pulsing? Because that was what was killing frame rate. Is they were like pulsing like crazy, all five of them. I think I do. I'll have cool. to check tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure I know why. Yay! Awesome. Soren and I are on a bug fixing campaign. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna fix this, and I'm giving him a long to-do list. Yeah, every single day I come to his stream, he's over like an hour, just reporting bugs. <laughs> it's like bad other one. Nice. I don't know if that's a good thing for me to have as a skill set, but <laughs> break mods without really much logic behind how it broke. By the way, Soren, you do plan on taking some breaks during the stream, right? A few, yeah. Well, you're going to have to take breaks. 100,000 seconds is a oh, long yeah. time to stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But I will be in here trolling you like there's no tomorrow. Um, Yay. Tomorrow. <laughs> like there is no tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes, that, that's when I will be. Like, I'm going to wait 24 hours, and then I'm going to... Because that'll be like my normal time to record again, and I'll be like, oh, <laughs> there we go. It is time to troll the Soren. I'm going to be so loopy. So I'm okay. guessing you'll be streaming Minecraft in 24 hours? Yes, and I will be talking like this. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, Yay. please, please, I recommend you don't. Um, no, you'll be streaming for, for 100,000 seconds, which is 27. 7.7, so we're going to round it up to 28. Oh, you're rounding it up? That, okay. we're, we're targeting 28, but if we get 27 point, or, uh, in 45 minutes, 27 hours, 45 minutes, then we'll be fine still. Well, it's already one and a half hour in, so... I know. <laughs> All that was finding bugs. <laughs> yeah, it's working. Yeah, that may be working. This yeah, isn't. This isn't. You sh <laughs> this is, like, it's so simple, too, uh, setting up, and it's so weird that it happens. Yeah. If I remove this wire, you'd think it reset, but no, the timer is still like, nope, I'm going to be my own man. <laughs> like, I'm independent. Let it be. It's happy. It's happy. I wonder if I cause a block up in front of it. It's working. It should, It's yeah. all working. Oh, cool. So it's just blocking down itself. The only thing I haven't tested is what happens if the TNT explodes, because I got rid of all the sapphire glass, because I thought that might be causing the lag. It wasn't, but it was You one should of the put the I sapphire tested. black. You well, probably no. don't want to test it. Um, I, I, there's sapphire glass surrounding where the TNT lives, so I think okay. we'll be okay-ish. You think? If it no, can survive test wither it. explosions, it should be able to survive TNT, yeah. Well, no, I mean, I haven't tested if I have the TNT properly surrounding. You're going to want it on diagonals too, just in case. Yeah, probably. I feel incredibly unsafe near you. <laughs> I actually don't know if that'll work. Right? It, it needs I'm, to be... It honestly should be pretty safe, relatively speaking. Golly! Kind of. And I used... Um, it actually is. I had to use okay. reinforced obsidian under here because glass doesn't transmit a redstone signal. Right. It doesn't so. now. Nope, but that's fine. It's okay. Which is good. It should be it should be good. In theory. Probably, perhaps. Potentially. In theory in theory there should be no double there should be no explosions that cause block breaking damage. And even if it does, like, oh well, I'll live and I'll fix whatever um, breaks. Did this server just die? Not no. the not this server, no. Okay. Oh well, I just got an IO exception. Nope. There you go. Okay. Cool. Um, so I should be able to open my portal to Elfheim again. And I'm guessing you guys will start. You should refill yourself, yes? Cool. And you too? Yes. Excellent. Nice. I know I've got some smooth stone around here somewhere. This is enough. Cool. So my portal's open. Um, I'm trying to think of... I think we're in good shape here now, actually. Uh, I almost want to, like, move these things. Almost. So you know what else I should do, Soren? Dance. I think you'd appreciate. Sing a lullaby. Well, I was going to get a sound muffler so you didn't hear the sound of exploding TNT every 10 seconds. Oh, that'd be glorious. Okay, cool. I thought I thought you'd appreciate that. <laughs> yes. Just I've actually found that two sound mufflers are ideal for the explosion of TNT. Really? Yes. Okay. There we go. So now we should no longer hear exploding TNT. I'll let you know in a second. There it goes. Yeah. See, you can't hear it anymore. It just exploded. Yep. 
Nice, right? Yeah. Emma, at least it is confirmed that it works with, or that uh, bug happens with all types of wires. Doesn't have to be the red alley. Yeah, I was guessing that too. <laughs> and well, since I cannot join and it's already past my bedtime, I guess I'm going to go. And I'll Bye. see you in less than 24 hours. Okay. Later, buddy. Okay. Bye. See you. All right, guys, we will come back in a minute because I have another build planned. I would like to automate some of the crafting from Batania. All right, guys, we're back. And this little item in the corner is going to get a spark and a dominant. Nice. That should fill up rather Ooh. quickly. Look at all the particle effects. I have one with the particles. <laughs> Yay. Full mana pool very quickly because it had nine mana pools filling it, which is oh, gosh. awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And we've got TNT doing its thing. Awesome. Um, so this is going to be my auto crafting manual pool. And what we're going to get is a open crate. An interface. And I'm probably going to want to make a hopper hawk, just because I feel like that would be a cool, cool thing to do. So yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Uh, so we'll do the interface. I'm going to want a piece of dirt. And how do we get hopper hawks? That is going to be redstone root, rune of air, two light gray and two gray. Two gray, two light gray, redstone root, which I believe is just grass and redstone, so I should have that, and a rune of air. Yes, I have one. Awesome. Oh yeah, and seeds. So over here, we're gonna do one and two. Well, to be fair, Sorian, hmm? uh, Parmar did say something about it on uh, Twitter, so that he wouldn't be doing much dev work at the moment. Well, it's not really completely on this side. His E3 hasn't updated in a while, and then all of a sudden, we need a mod update, and then everything gets oh, broken. Right. Yeah, no E3 didn't update. update, so whatever it is that's causing the problem is not on the E3's end. It might be something that E3 missed, but it was working beforehand, so. Uh, somebody said it might be uh, TE. Uh... That could cause it, but I don't know if that uh, updated. I was saying anything that messes with the or dictionary could cause this kind of calculation error. So I wouldn't put it past it because they're always trying to do efficient methodologies with the forge or dictionary, but it's not always as efficient as they really planned. It's kind of going back to the there's 12 standards, well let's make this one more unifying standard. <laughs> hey. It's for Orange Dictionary, so let's just take that, implement our own, and then re-implement it to the Orange Dictionary and just make it work. Done. No issues. Also, I have no idea, Soren, how you did what you did with our system. What do you mean? Or my system behind the wall. Like, why did you go, instead of P2P terminal down there, why... Like, ex explain to me, even though I'm in the middle of doing something, but I want you to explain to me. There used to be a P... Like, isn't this line, this this smart Fluex cable line, the P2P line? Mm, and I'm, I'm assuming that because you have a P2P tunnel ME here. Right. So instead of doing a separate networked P2P 
or right. a separate PDP network. We're mm -hmm. using it on the same network as the main system. Okay. So if I were to want to go anywhere else in the base and say, I want these 32 channels also to be over here, I could. Okay. Uh, but instead of using a P2P here, I didn't want to take up six channels for something that's just local. So I changed it to a subnet. Okay. And that's why you did interface and storage bus? Correct. So we're taking up two channels, one for accessing this chest, the other one for uh, being you, you, able to you, send you out. You know I have an elevator over here, right? I did not. Was that there yesterday? Uh, Thursday? No, but it's That's there fine. today all day. You didn't teach our AE system how to make blank patterns? No, because it was an EE. Oh my goodness. I didn't teach it how to make anything, really. I did notice that. Because it was like, I need the. Oh hey, I can make this with EE done. Can I put the interface terminal over here as well, or does that need to be? As long as it's on the same line as the terminal, it's fine. Actually, interface terminal, uh, you should be able to put anywhere, unless you're wanting to put into the... Well, yours is red over there, so I wasn't sure if it was like red for a reason, or... Red? Yeah, the interface terminal is red, so I don't know if that's just for visual oh, or yeah, if there's was a reason just, for that. Yeah, you know, okay. just keep them different. So I just walk up and say, hey, I can do this. This stuff trying to look at the icon to figure out what it is. Um, device missing channel. Okay, I must be out of channels over here. Am I out of channels over here? Hmm? No, not real. Oh, wait, I'm confused now. So the no. blue is our network? This blue one yeah. is what was hooked up to that P2P. So it's okay. not, it's its own network. It can see the main network. The light blue. Oh, the light blue, yeah, that's the main network. Okay, and because it's sharing with the ME smart cable, right? That's coming over here. All right, so this light blue cable that's coming over here accesses a storage bus and then also provides power to this other network. Right, this... but now it's also got the terminals on it, right? Correct, the terminals are fine. Okay, so then why when I added another terminal did it say device missing channel? Because we can only do so many channels on this line. That's why we should probably switch this to be to P2P Oh, you and... mean the way I originally had it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you see this main dense cable? I didn't know you were going to add so many channels over here. That's why I asked. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I had dense cable over here. <laughs> like, I don't understand why there's not enough channels available. Because, like, look, there's there's only five channels. In no, that's, right on, that's past down here. Look at right here. See how it has one more added? Yeah. If you keep going down that line, it's also hooked up to the couple gen and then also... The P2P that's hooked up to this dense cable. It's hooked up to the cobble gen too? Uh, it's that one line that goes across, yeah. <sighs> so all eight channels are taken. Just access it through that dense cable. I know. <laughs> YouTube will be back after I fix oh Soren's gosh. mistakes again. What? No! I told you no more channels on this side and you just started hooking everything up. I'm just saying that it was working I great. I, no, it, you were taking six channels needlessly. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, We've got infinite channels. I'm sorry no. for using six. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we'll be back once I figure out how to do what Soren's telling me I have to do for no reason. <laughs> All right, guys, this should work, in theory. All better, Soren. I fixed your derps. 
I told you how to. <laughs> I'm just saying that it was good until you touched it. It was fine when I touched it. <laughs> you started hooking up things to a channel system that had. I had 32 channels. channels behind this wall. Then you did something, and then I didn't have 32. You did channels. not have 32 channels. I did. So I had dense cable coming out of the P2P connection. 32 channels. That's what's on. <laughs> the P2P was new somewhere else. No, no, it wasn't. Doesn't matter. I don't even know what you just said, but it didn't happen. <laughs> He was going to run out of channels and be like, why don't we have 32? There's a dense cable here. And then not know because he used P2P and then where else the connections were. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, what? I, didn't, I wasn't hmm. listening to anything you just said. <laughs> you YouTube did. And they know I'm correct. Those who watch my stream, they know. They watch this. Oh, that works beautifully. That is awesome. Okay. Okay. Uh, switch, switching servers might not uh, help you because apparently it's been on worldwide switch. Oh. Any ingestion servers have issues All with right, it. Then we'll stay live. That's for good a timing bit. for your uh, stream. I know, right? It's like, yay, let's do 100k celebration, and then Twitch wags up. Really? Oh, we're missing some service quartz dust. I assume that that's not working in the thing. Correct. Okay. Luckily, we have a ton of service quartz crystal, probably because I was the last one to do anything with it. So let's do this. Crystal has EMC, so. Does it? It's assigned a value. Nice. Okay, now we'll be back in a minute, guys. I'm over Sorry, why world. did you rearrange the order of my- I centered it on the room! <laughs> but you put them in a different order! I they were logical. One. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there was reasons. What was the reason? <laughs> my brain is the reason. Oh. Also, you took the blank patterns out. Can you put them back in? They're precious. Ah, I was wondering what that sound was. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> my bad. You want to see the cool thing I made? Sure. Go downstairs. You ready? Okay. Watch. You watching? This drops something that recharges, doesn't it? Oh, nope. Crafting. Got it. And then the hopper hawk picks it up and throws it back in the A system. Interesting. Sneaky, right? Yeah. I, I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> um, cool. No, that's actually very cool, but it might actually be a little too close. I need the mana lens monocle. No, the mana seer monocle, this one. Uh, this is mana glass, so it's just glass. Ooh, does it really only affect items below it? That's kind of cool. Excellent. That's actually ideal. Oh, no, wait. Did it pick up? Let's put...
just want to see. It did. Okay. So, because I might want to auto craft with that thing as well, and that might be troublesome for me. All right, we'll be back in a minute, guys. I need to think for a sec. All right, guys, I want to also do stuff up here. So that has too large of a radius. So I'm going to check out this Ender Collector we were playing with the other day. So do you need the filter things? Uh, no. Okay. This might cause havoc do... for crafting because this will be instant. Will it? Yeah. And... Uh, that's why I was asking if you need a filter because this should pick up anything. Whoa. Yeah, that um, looks like it picked it up way too fast. Yeah. He was saying it picked it up before it becomes a high entity. Oh, well then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so probably not ideal. No. Uh, I'm going to go with my plan then. Cool. Um, I'm going to go with the transfer node. Because then I can filter it. Yep. I just thought you were finding you picking up items and think it was for the system. Oops. This should work now. Nice. That works. Okay. So then I can do my Terra Steel auto crafting, which will need another open crate. Be right back. All right, guys. Well, I think it's about time we wrap up the episode, and I really need to consider how I'm going to build an auto crafting system for Terra Steel. It's been a while. I've never actually done it, I don't think. So I would like to figure that out. It's a little tricky because I can't. If I request two Terra Steel, it's going to drop two mana steel, two mana pearl, and two mana diamonds, and it's not going to work. So we need to make it only work one at a time, and then also know when it's done so it can submit the next request. So I'll probably have to have them drop into a chest of some sort. And uh, we'll figure that out. But for now, wrapping up points. So Daryl20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm not looking at that. You should look at it. I'm not. You should look at it. It's a clipboard. It's a to-do list. I don't like the sword you have in your hand. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because I don't. Stop being near me. See your to-do list. <laughs> Fix direwire, kill direwolf, what? Ow! Ow! <laughs> I hate you. Take it easy, guys.